Hello, this is Jerry Vidmar with CIDBasements.com. We're here in Castle Rock, Colorado today, getting ready to start a basement finish. And as you can see, we've got some of the framing going already. Uh, we've met previously with the homeowner and gone over all of the uh, layouts of the rooms and where they want things and agreed upon the, the sizes of the rooms and the location. And over here, we're going to have a bar. Uh, this will be a wet bar, so we'll be bringing in plumbing over in this corner. There will be a knee wall that will come across here that will support our countertop. This area here is framed in for a bathroom. We're going to have the uh, shower down here on this end. We'll have the toilet in this area. We'll have a vanity here. We'll have a nice big uh, linen closet for in this area. And the door entry here. So it's really quite convenient for the, out of the bedroom. Uh, we'll have uh, a large door here to open up for the furnace area. And then we've also put in a, uh, uh, an area underneath this closet, uh, st uh, stairway. We're going to have a door going into here, but we're also going to use this temporarily for their, uh, for their children for a play area. So what we've done is, is we've framed for a full-size door, but we've headered it off. We're going to header it off at this point for a small door temporarily while they're using it for children's play area. We're also going to put in a little window in this area so they'll be able to enjoy this little play, play area as long as they want to. And later on they'll be able to cut this out and put in a full-size door so they can use it for a closet at that point once the kids get older. We'll have a door coming through here into the bedroom. This whole area we're going to have a very large bedroom. Uh, worked out very nicely to get them a nice large walk-in closet, so they'll be able to use that for guests as well as winter storage uh, for uh, ski gear and you know, transitional storage for clothing during the season changes. Uh, we had some water issues here. We had a, the water comes in here, and then we had a clean out here for the sewer. So what we did is we boxed this area out so that we have access to the sewer, and then we boxed this area out so that we can get at the water shut off and then in between we're going to put shelving so we kind of utilized what they gave us and made it work for for, uh, for their use to have some nice shelving. So that's it here in the bedroom and then out this way we're going to have a large uh, open area off of the bar. We'll have a nice large um, game area where it's big enough that they can have a pool table, ping pong, pretty much any game that they could possibly want in this area. And over here, we have, uh, we're going to open up the staircase so that when they come down the stairs, the basement feels much less like a basement and more like a second level. Uh, they're going to come down the stairs and we'll have a nice uh, arched uh, art niche here in the, in the walkway when they come down. And then through this door, they'll go into their st unfinished storage area. So this makes this feel much more like a second level and not just a basement. In this area, they wanted, uh, this is for their exercise equipment, but well, we've gone ahead and installed a closet. We had a, um, we have a sump pump here in the corner, so to hide that, we've gone ahead and put the closet in that area, and then they'll use this as an exercise area, but now it will qualify as another bedroom. So value-wise, just by putting the closet in, we've added a lot of value to this room. It's now usable for them as an exercise area marketable and saleable as a bedroom and then of course they obviously they could use it for a bedroom and office I mean it could be used for anything we're going to have double French doors here so it should be a really nice space for them nice and light got a couple of windows in it so it's a nice room for them so that's it for today uh, Jerry Vidmar CIDBasements.com thank you we'll be back to share with you as we move into electrical and plumbing thank you very much